السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ فرینڈس ان دس ویڈیو وی ول ڈسکس ایچ سی پی ایل تھری ون فائیو زیرو اور ایچ سی پی ایل تھری ون فائیو جے اٹ از سنگل چینل اور ڈیول چینل آئی جی بی ٹی گیٹ ڈرائیو کمپوننٹ ود پوائنٹ فائیو ایم پی ایئر کرنٹ اٹ از اپ ٹو کپلر اینڈ اٹس آؤٹ فٹ سیکشن از یوز ٹو ڈرائیو آئی جی بی ٹی گیٹس بیکاز ایٹ آئی جی بی ٹی اسٹیج وی یوز ہائی وولٹیج اینڈ ان لو سائڈ it is using any microcontroller or any ttl logic level so it provides isolation between high voltage line and low voltage line its marking numbers are hcpl 3150 a3150 vo3150 fod3150 or ltv3150 generic number is 3150 it is used in vfds inverters UPS is this side is low side a signal from a microcontroller is applied to this LED drive components in the drive side in the IGBT drive side sometime it is using a current buffering transistor or sometime it is coupled directly to the IGBT using a current limiting resistor normally it have the same function as TLP250 or TLP350 that is IGBT gate drives or MOSFET gate drives in TLP250 it is using transistor In TLP350 it is using MOSFET. In 3150 it is using a transistor and a DMOS MOSFET. So it is best for IGBT drives. Basically it is a question from Professor Muhammad Nadeem from Faisalabad, Pakistan. I am relating Tesla hybrid solar inverter. The problem H bridge that is IGBT set up four IGBTs. Out of four two IGBTs are damaged. So the question is 3150 optocoupler is for gate drive. Can I check gate drive volts while removing all IGBTs? Please explain. So let's discuss. Friends, if you are new to my channel, if you have not subscribed my channel, subscribe it. If you want to watch my videos in future, you can press bell icon button. Basically, it is a 0.5 ampere peak output current and 1 ampere maximum low level output voltage for best negative gate drive for IGBT. It have to bring the IGBT in cut off state. 5 mA maximum supply current this ic have a built in driver controller it have 5 mA chip biasing current that is used to drive the driver transistors and this ic have uvlo function under voltage lockout when the vcc voltage is dropped between its threshold it will cut off the output of this ic to protect igbts because it have a wide operating range for vcc voltage 15 volt to 30 volt it can be utilized for any type of igbt 0.5 microsecond propagation delay what is propagation delay when we apply input to any component and when we are take output after processing through the component because every component it have a delay time so the time difference between the input and output is less than 0.5 microseconds it is used in igbt mosfet gate drives and ac and bldc motors industrial inverters smps online ups air conditioners two different packages hcpl 3150 it is 8 pin ic 315j it is 16 pin ic 1 2 3 4 and 5 number pins are blank not connected 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 and 13 number pins are not available its footprint is 16 pin internal structure if it is single channel or dual channel to have led photodiode led and photodiodes are working on optical light so this optical beam generated by this led will reach to this photodiode it will conduct either it is photodiode or phototransistor it will give a switching pulse to this block this chip have different functions it will provide a drive logic to this push pull transistors if this transistor is on the second must be off and if it is on the second must be ensured to remain off both transistors will work opposite to each other if this transistor will work positive voltage at pin number 8 will transfer to output and if this dmos transistor is on this will off so positive supply will disconnected and it will connected to pin number 5 if you see the pin numbers pin 1 and 4 are not connected pin number 2 is connected to anode of led pin number 3 is connected to cathode of led so it is working like a normal optocoupler at input side in output side it have two transistors and it have a built in chip 
that will control the function of these transistors. Similarly, 315J, two channels, the function will remain same. When we apply a cathode current or drive voltage to input LED, transistor number 1 will on, transistor number 2 will off. When transistor number 1 is on, the supply voltage, VCC voltage will reach in the output. In that case, transistor number 2 will disconnect. But when LED is off, this transistor will go in cutoff state. In that time, TR2, transistor number 2, will turn on. When it will turn on, it will pull pull down the gate to the low level. So the IGBT will go in cutoff state. Similarly, when we discuss 3150, it have UV yellow function. When the LED is off, because this IC have VCC and VEE voltage. 0 to 30 volt, we can apply at VCC to VEE pin. Output voltage will low. If it is on, and the supply voltage are up to 11 volt, the output will low because it have UVLO fun function under voltage lockout function. When the voltage will drop from 12 volt, the output will drop. It will not operate. And if input LED is on and supply voltage are between 13.5 to 30 volt, so we will take 12 volt to 30 volt output. Working VCC range is 13.5 to 30 volt. When LED is on, the output will high. If the LED is off and voltage are supplied between 13.5 to 30 volt, the output will low. Its recommended voltage are 15 volt to 30 volt. Operating current, forward current for LED is 7 milliampere to 16 milliampere. Input voltage off condition less than 0.8 volt to LED will considered logic level low. The LED will off. HCPL 3150 have single channel output. 3120 single channel output. It is an 8 pin configuration dual in line. HCPL 3150 it have 0.5 ampere output and 3120 have 2 ampere output. HCPL J312 single channel 2 ampere. 314 is 0.4 ampere. HC and W3120 it is 2 ampere single channel hcpl 315j it have two channels 315j and 314j 315j 0.5 ampere and 314j 0.4 ampere but 316j 2 ampere have fault status facility inside in any inverter circuit its normal configuration is here plus 5 volt are applied through a pull-up resistor to pin number 2 and pin number 3 is connected to ground. It can be drive through any control input that is provided through any motor drive circuit, microcontroller, any TTL with open collector. Either we are using a transistor or anything. Typical VCC voltage that are 18 volt connected between pin number 8 and 5. Pin number 6 will connected to IGBT using RG. If it have 6 IGBT in that case 63150 gate driver components will use and if we are using 315j in that case because it have dual channel 315j will drive high side and low side igbt and its high side and low side components drive components are isolated to each other so it can work safely positive high voltage dc for example it is 300 volt 400 volt are applied to collectors and emitter is connected to ground line or negative voltage so we will take three phase ac output and each set will connect it to 315j here we are using two different ic's 3150 and 3150 for low, low side but 315j will used for high and low side if we are using 3150 high voltage side and low voltage side its configuration will like this. Here it have a bootstrap diode to provide VCC voltage at pin number 8. Here it have a typical test circuit. When we apply 7 to 16 milliampere current at pin number 2 to pin number 3, in that case it will provide a output high VOH. We will find output voltage at pin number 6 and 7. When the LED is supplied with some voltage it, and it will draw 7 to 16 milliampere current and we have VCC voltage between 15 to 30 volt in that case it will provide the output voltage high if the voltage VCC voltage will drop less than 12 volt 
so this IC will go in under voltage lockout condition in this condition we will measure voltage between pin number 7 and ground in, in this condition we will not find any voltage between pin number 6 and 7 it is less than 1 volt or approximately we can say it is 0 volt so we will find a maximum supply between pin number 6 and 8 if we check voltage in the outward section and we find voltage between pin number 6 and 5 that means this transistor is on because supply at pin number 8 is reaching at pin number 7 and if you connect multimeter between pin number 7 and 5 that means this transistor is on when we apply input to I forward here and how much time it will take that the out will reach at approximately 50% amplitude this time when we apply input and the time gap between the output the time gap between the input and output when the output is approximately at 50% that is TPLH time from low to high propagation time from low to high and TPHL if we remove input how much time it will take to lower the output so this when we remove the pulse and how much time it will take to bring its output to zero that is approximately 50 percent we can it is tphl propagation time from high to low and tr that is rise time we apply a standard input and its output will start linearly gradually because any component it have a rise time so what is the rise time the time gap between the input zero level to maximum level that is called rise time from 10 percent output level to 90 percent output level it is called this time gap is called tr time rise time gap between input and output 50 percent of output that is called propagation delay time taken from 10 percent to 90 percent amplitude that is called rise time similarly the time taken from 90 percent to 10 percent drop will ca called fall time when we want to drive the led through any open collector output ttl circuit so this condition is not allowed it must be connected in this way if we remove igbt from the edit drive any circuit in that case if we are using bootstrap voltage first of all disconnect supply from pin number 8 and then collect some 15 volt 8, 18 volt at pin number 8 and 5 be sure that positive voltage or any type of supply from pin number 8 and 5 is disconnected then inject 15 volt to 30 volt at pin number 5 and 8 and we can connect oscilloscope between 5 and 6 if its DMOS is damaged it will not pull down the transistor to cut off state we have to ensure the function of both transistors so friends i hope so this video is informative if it is inform informative give a thumb up if you have any question let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh